Hey friends, thank you for stopping by Mimi's Mixed Bag. If you're new here, I want to welcome you. And if you like what you see today, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. But today I'm bringing you an old vintage craft that was been around since I know the uh, middle 80s. And it's called a grandma's paddle. Some of us are lucky enough to still have our grandmas. And all of us, you know, know somebody that's a grandma, a Mimi, or a Nana. It doesn't take but less than an hour to make. And it's just something really cute to give. The original project, I'm pretty sure sure was sewn on a sewing machine but I wanted to kind of update it show you an easier way that you could get the same effect just with a, uh, just gluing it together and updating the fabric and the trim that you'll need so I just free handed a cardboard heart just about bigger than my hand just to give you a guide now the back of my cardboard is white you may have to paint your cardboard or cover your cardboard in felt whatever you need to do to make your back look a little better now my piece of scrap fabric I just found this pretty blue and pink floral you just need to make sure that your fabric is bigger than your heart you're going to need a handle for it a lot of them i've seen you can use a paint stir you need one wide enough and, and smooth enough where you can put some stickers on there or you can paint or write or whatever you need to do to get some words on the handle now the original project back in the 80s was trimmed in lace i've got friends that that's a turn off to them they don't want lace it just makes it look dated now even though i love lace but I actually found this in my stash and it's some little pom-pom trim. I think that would give it a little more updated look and be super cute as well and it matches my fabric. On the handle of your grandma's paddle you're going to write grandma's paddle nana's paddle whoever the intended recipient is you're also going to need a little bag of polyfill to pad it so that's the novelty of this is it's a padded heart and it is a grandma's paddle the first thing i need to do is go ahead and paint my handle to coordinate with my fabric now you don't have to you could just stain it but i'm going to go ahead and paint mine blue to match some of the blue in my fabric i'm going to clear this out and i'll be ready to cut the fabric. I failed to mention I punched a hole in the top of my stir stick or you can drill a hole. It's technically the hanger. Now the person who has it may or may not use it as such but the original project did have a hole with a little loop of twine at the top. All right, well, my handle's drying. We're going to move on to the paddle part. I took the tip of my scissors and punched a hole in the center of my heart and I'll tell you what that's for when we get completely done. I'm going to cut my fabric about a half an inch, just slightly bigger than my heart, so that it will give me some blousy material in order to stuff it. If I cut it exactly the shape of my pattern, I won't have enough space to put some stuffing. Put my hand on the heart and just kept it secure and just trimmed it all the way around. Now I also made a little slit right here at the end and then I made a slit right here all the way to the heart at the top. And that will help when I get ready to glue it. It'll just release some pressure from that, those two areas. Here's what I'm gonna do is put your back down on the table and then you're gonna take your fabric and try to center it up on your heart. And all you're basically gonna do is hot glue the edge to match your pattern and what that's going to do is give you some loose fabric here in the center in order to stuff i'm going to leave from here to here an open little pocket so that i can stuff the polyfill all right i thought i hit the record button but i didn't all right i just started a line of bead right there i pulled it off and i'm going to re-glue it just a thin little bead and this is where you're going to match your fabric up to the edge of the cardboard try to get it as matched as you can Work the fabric all the way around. You can always go back and hot glue a little spot and the trim will hide any little messiness you have. All right, I've got it hot glued and I left the whole top undone. And you might could even stick your hand in there and you can see where maybe you've missed a little spot, but you can always, like right here, I missed a little spot right there. So I'm gonna touch it up right here. So now I'm just gonna take a couple handfuls of polyfill and stuff my fabric heart. And then once you get it in there, you can kind of spread it out. You don't want to overfill it, but you definitely want to give it the padded look. Now after you get your paddedness in there, I hot glued my handle in there before I did my fabric. So learn from my mistake. Put a little hot glue on the bottom and stick it in there. Now I want to leave enough handle so that I can get the words I want on there. It's not going to take much. This is super lightweight. All it is is cardboard and fabric. And then I'm going to just close up my hole with some hot glue. 
All right, the next little embellishment I want to do is strictly optional. You know, I've seen some people that just, you know, hot glued a bow or something in the center, but I took a button and put some wire through it, and I'm going to snip a little hole in the center of my fabric, and then that's the reason why I put that hole back there is so that I could fish it through there and secure that little button in the center. It's really not an eyesore on the back or anything, but just love the little pillow look. So now I'm going to hot glue my pom-pom around my heart and then put letter stickers on here. Since I'm a Mimi, this is definitely going to be a Mimi's paddle. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, friends, I finished my grandma paddle, this little padded heart. And of course, I had to make mine Mimi's paddle with my little hanger. I think it turned out so cute. So this is a 30-year-old craft updated. I think any of my friends would get a kick out of receiving this. So I hope this inspires you to make one. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.